Hello and welcome to the Show Love Tarot. I am Show Love and I am here with a reading for the collective for the month of April. This is Aries season. We are heading into an eclipse. It is Mercury retrograde. There is a lot to process into energetically, spiritually, <clears throat> cosmically. There's a lot going on. So let's see what these cards have to say. The first card that came up for the collective for the month of April is the Magician card. The Magician card for this reading is telling me that um, either you or someone you know has done the work. They've uh, done their research. They've gotten their resources in order. As uh, a chef friend of mine used to say, you get your mise en place. Uh, you got your things in place, mise en place, things in place. Things are in place. You've mastered whatever it is that you were seeking to master. There's an al alchemy energy going on. Something is about to change, and it's due to this magician, either you or someone you know, doing the work, pooling their resources, um, mastering their abilities, whether it be physical right? Spiritual with the swords, sp spiritual, physical with the wands, financial, emotional, whatever it is that this person has been engaging in, and they've mastered it. They're the mag magician right now. They are in a place of great power and ability and, um, and they are ready to put these resources and abilities to work, right? The Magician. So the card that comes out <clears throat> after the Magician card was the Strength card. The Strength card, of course, is self-explanatory. It's Strength card, but it's also having the courage to take on a difficult task this card reminds me of this, the biblical story of David and Goliath, um, or just some someone having to fight either their own demons <laughs> or real demons or really toxic, um, wicked individuals. Someone is having to tap into their uh, shadow side. I mean, we are into this eclipse. Someone, someone's having to tap into their dark side and their warrior side and just take action and tackle this beast these uh these entities that, that's had them trapped look at that you know with the uh that little they got the tail wrapped around the leg <clears throat> this person is really being challenged but they've done their work with the magician card they have the power, the strength, they have their things in place. <laughs> they know how to uh, pool the resources, whatever that may be, physical, spiritual, financial. They know what to do and they know how to do it. And they're doing it. And they're tackling this, uh, this uh, op could be more than one, these oppressors, these ops, these person who, these people who are working against you or someone you know, this person has now has the strength and courage to fight their battle. And that is exactly what they're doing in this season. So the next card that comes out, the Queen of Pentacles, this battle may have something to do with uh, some financial, it could have to do with property with the Queen of P Pentacles here. This may be you or someone you know. <clears throat> this battle will um, benefit you in a way, in a financial way. Uh, you see these little minions here that are defeated. So whoever you are coming, uh, whoever you or someone you know are coming against in a battle, they will win and regain their rightful place as the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles. Put yourself where you go. Um, <clears throat> someone is regaining their rightful place after doing the work and fighting this battle. They're now um, regaining what was there in the uh, in the beginning. 
this property, this land, and or money. Look at that. And people are going to be really sad and upset about it. And that's okay. Uh, let them be. Uh, glory be to God. We're not here to make friends. <laughs> we're, we're here whew, for, for, you know, something greater. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. So this is you or someone you know that has done the work, that has, is facing a great battle that they are about to win or are winning or will win. And the things will turn out in uh, your favor. This is at the shock and horror of whoever you had to fight against. They uh, have now been reduced to uh, almost nothing. <clears throat> They've been put into their rightful place. Uh, and this is coming out during the eclipse in Mercury retrograde. I think the Mercury retrograde is until April 24th, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And then two weeks after with the shadow. So don't really, you know, <clears throat> this is all about old business, old news. Don't really start anything new. Um, your fortune won't be in anything new. Your fortune will be in something that's old, old business that is now coming to fruition now it's now things are now turning in your favor if you've been the one who's having to battle these demons and these uh to having having courage to take on this challenge things are now turning in your favor with the wheel of fortune all right and people are gonna have to look five of cups some people are gonna have to return some things <laughs> the shit that they thought was coming in it's leaving look it is leaving the port. Where are we? There we go. Look. It is just sad. Things didn't go in their favor. Now they gotta now they gotta let go of some things, right? <clears throat> that battle, that battle you had to fight, you won. With the five in reverse but uh, beneath this card. This is it. This is it. Whoever was taking from you. Whoever was trying to battle you for what was rightfully yours, look at them. This is this is how they look. Just sad and pitiful. This is what they get for trying to undermine the ship. The ship, the ship that they saw coming in wasn't their ship. That ship was for you. <clears throat> and they tried to commandeer it. They tried to usurp it. They tried to surreptitiously <laughs> make it their own, but it's not their own. It's yours. Like it's going back from whence it came. The wealth, the property, inheritance, whatever it is, it's going back to the rightful owner as it should be. So be that. Thank you, collective.